How do they do it? You ever look at a highly successful person and just wonder, how in the heck do they do it? Looking all glamorous and confident with a profitable business and healthy skin. Meanwhile, here we are running around on a delicate cocktail of caffeine and panic. What's the difference? What's the secret? We need to know. Well, today, we're going to find out. My name's Chris Brennan from Forest Salon Software, and join us as we look at the seven habits of highly successful salon owners, explained with emojis. Number one, plan your day the night before and get up early in the morning. You ever heard the expression, win the morning, win the day? Well, it's absolutely true. Don't just go blindly into your day battling tasks as they come. You'll be wiped out by lunchtime, which you probably don't have time for. Instead, make it part of your new routine to finish your day by gently planning the next one. And then when you wake up in the morning, review what lies ahead, smile, and jump right into it like a wild child at a pool party. Number two, read a whole lot. I know, I know, who has time for that? I hear you. After a full day's work, the idea of reading can feel like a chore in and of itself. However, you can smell that however coming, right? Reading is actually a much more healthy, much more fulfilling form of relaxation. And if you select an inspirational book, then you are ensuring that your rest will be so much more content. Number three, make time for mindfulness and exercise. It's a time thing, isn't it? When you see these ideas popping up, it begs the question, where Chris, oh where can I fit it all in? Well, the successful salon owners will tell you that it is possible. It's all about structure. And when you take the time to give your mind and your body some love, it'll pay you back in spades. With exercise, you have a clearer mind and a lot more confidence. Decisions will be easier and the day will fly by. Number four, minimize distraction. So after those two ideas above, let's look at carving some fresh time in order to achieve it. That's where minimizing distraction comes into play. If you actually looked at a day in your life, you'll probably discover lots of little moments that are just getting in the way. Waiting in a giant line for a takeaway coffee you don't need, or scrolling useless Facebook feeds, furrowing your brow at Susan's fifth salad pick of the day. I mean, we get it, Susan. It's a delicious salad, but you don't need to share every single bite with us. Once you find these moments, you can take back hours, yes, hours of your day, and dedicate it to something much more rewarding, like spending time with people who inspire you. Have you ever heard the idea that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with? That's pretty interesting, right? And it's pretty accurate as well. So look at your core group of friends and colleagues. Are they pulling you down with negativity? Or are they building each other up with care and comfort? Is there someone you met once or twice that you really admire, but you haven't reached out to them because we're adults now and making new friends just feels a little, I don't know, just feels a little funny, I guess. Well, reach out to them. These are the people that will inspire you to keep raising the bar. Number six, focus on your own goals, daily and long-term. This one might go under the radar, mainly because so many of us think we're actually doing this. The problem is we've confused goals with chores. If your car is starting to sound a little odd and you bring it to a mechanic, that's not a goal. That's just a chore you have to do. Your goal will be hitting a new client retention target for the month or entering salon of the year competition and winning that thing like it ain't nothing. Those are goals. So be sure to write yours down, leave them in a visible place to remind yourself, and then finally, get things done. Yes, highly successful salon owners set a goal, make a list of tasks, and then little by little, they work to achieve it. Even when unexpected obstacles leap in the way, it's okay. They have their eyes on the goal and they're gonna get there. And that's it, the seven habits of highly successful salon owners. Are there any on this list that you wanna start with? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, click that bell as well, and finally share this with your peoples and hopefully it can bring a nice little moment to their lives as well. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Chris Brennan and as always, let's grow.